lots of glare from the camera today. Got my little helpers having a little nap. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean the oil filter on this old matchless. So what we do is we get a spanner on there, give it a crack, and then it's got a spring underneath it, so you just have to keep it keep a bit of pressure, that's it, so we don't lose that spring. Pop that to one side. I'll pop it on my tool roll there, so we don't lose it. Then, if we very carefully take out this, this is um, like a, it's just a cup for the spring. Pop that to one side too. Give it a wipe up there, and then get your finger in there, just pull that up, and that, manky looking thing is the old oil filter element so what I've got over here is I've got the old um, aluminium pan I use for oil chains and things I'm gonna pour some paraffin in there should really wear gloves because all these with the chemicals is uh, bad for your skin but to be honest I've done this messing around since the 1970s with my dad and granddad when health and safety wasn't a thing and I'm already fucked so but yeah you wear gloves nice get nice and clean difficult to do one-handed actually and what I'm trying to do is get get it so that as it runs through it comes out fairly clean and that isn't too bad I'm gonna dry it I'll put the lid back on my paraffin kerosene to our American friends Oh, Sandy, if you've got a greenhouse here, just go roll it around. Soak the nastiness off. Look at that. That mesh is nice and clean now. And that cloth element isn't so bad. And then, what we're going to do, go back to where we were. And carefully, so we don't damage the cloth on those threads, those screw threads, we're going to pop it back in. Get our little cup and just give it a wipe off this dirty oil with this rag. Don't forget the spring, the spring sits in that cup, and then the cap goes back on. It has got like an o ring in there, but the o ring's not in such bad shape, so. It can stay. Thing to do is not fall off because it ain't gonna leak unless you turn it upside down. So we we'll just nip that up nicely. Don't have to be mega mega tight. I'm just using an adjustable, which is bad practice, but it's what I've got. And there we go. That's an oil filter replacement on a 1954 Matchless 600.